Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Glory to God. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Uh, yep, this is me, Kathy Brox. Amen. The show's about to start in a hot sec. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Amen. Glory to God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory, the honor, the power, and the praise. Amen, amen, amen. All right, hallelujah. Well, yeah, my name is Kathy Braxton. This is the LUTG Radio Show on LUTGradio.com, WKKP Digital Broadcasting. Um, we are actually live on uh, Mobcam, Twitter, um, Facebook, Trovo, and uh, some other place. Uh, did I say Twitter? Twitch. Twitch and Twitter. All right, as well as uh, the LUTG Radio website. And we are on air uh, for the radio station that just popped up, that just came on for you folks that were looking for it um, on LUTGradio.com. And we're also live on Spreaker.com. And so the goal is to reach uh, the world with every media, amen, every form of media, and to uh, get the gospel out, all right? And so... Uh, today is uh, Freedom Friday. Uh, I should, you know, today is Friday and we're going to be free. I call it Freedom Friday. <laughs> we basically just going to be a little bit free today. Not too free because, well, we free. Amen, we free. I ain't going to go outside the box or, you know, like, wilding out or whatever. I'm going to just let it flow. And you know me, I love some scriptures. Anybody that knows me knows that I love some scriptures. And so I'm going to try and get some scriptures for you today. Uh, but first, we're going to open up in prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. I apologize. This thing is like, okay, there we go. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord God, for your love, your peace, and your strength. We thank you, Lord God, for waking us today. We thank you, Lord God, for um, being here and uh, being present with us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for your, your humbleness. We thank you, Lord God for loving us unconditionally we thank you lord god for even when we mess up you are always here we just thank you lord god for uh not giving up on us in jesus name we pray amen amen glory to god all right so like i said today is a show it's called freedom friday um we're gonna put on the whole armor of god like we do all the time every day we need that armor Amen. I want my armor. I know y'all want y'all's. Go with me to Luke 24, 45. And so I'm standing up today. Um, I'll tell you about that later. Uh, anyway, so go with me to Luke 24, 45, and then I'll tell you why I'm standing up. All right. So Luke 24, 45. Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Luke 24, 45. Then open he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. So what I will read that as, uh, then open Jesus Kathy's understanding that I might understand the scriptures. That's just me, you know, but you can put it however you want it. Uh, go with me to Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. It says, Finally, my, beth, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Verse 18 and 19. 
praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Amen. Glory to God. Go with me to uh, Numbers chapter 6. Numbers chapter 6. And that's verse 24 through 27. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. Amen. Amen. This chair is kind of getting on my nerves. <laughs> Uh, uh, anyway, all right. Uh, go with me to Psalms ninety-one. Psalms ninety-one. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Uh, last one. Isaiah 54, 17. Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Woohoo! We got our armor on, y'all. Woo! It actually looks like this. Shield buckler. But it's the word of God. <laughs> I growing up, I used to see people do that when they, they get in their fighting stance, they'd be like, and I was wondering, why would they why why is it like this? And I realized that they were Christians, and so they were going, Yeah, my shield, my buckler. Yeah, I'm like, what? Thinking, you know, I think that actually meant words. They're like, no, my shield, my buckler. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Oh, man. Crazy. Hey, you're listening to LUTGradio.com, WKKP Digital Broadcasting. Amen. 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 Um, Don't forget, check out the shop. Uh, check out the shop on LUTGradio.com. We got a bunch of stuff up there. Uh, T-shirts and whatnot. Got some of this. Got some Psalms 91 up there. If you're checking this out. Um, got some uh, for, uh, put on the whole armor of God T-shirts. And got some other things. Some nice watches and whatnot. And so when you shop LUTG Radio. Shop. That's the same as supporting LUTG Radio. You know sometimes we say, yo, send in a donation so we can keep on air. La, 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 la. Okay. I'm like, I'm just saying, look, you're going to shop anyway. You gonna shop anyway? You might as well shop at LUTG Radio. So uh, we got a couple things up there for you to check out, for you to enjoy yourself. Amen. We don't like returns, so whatever you buy, keep it. Just know this: that you keeping it helps the station stay online, stay on air, pay these bills. Amen. Glory to God. We getting this word out. The word is free. All the content we create, all the revelation God gives me, I give it to you for free. Amen. I, Cause I love it. I love you. I love. I love doing. I love speaking the gospel. I love listening to the Lord and getting His revelation and, and just sharing it, saving souls for the kingdom of God. I love this stuff. And so I'm giving away all free. And I'm just saying, look, since you're gonna be going shopping anyway, you might as well come on over to LUTG Radio. So we got for you. Amen. And um, hey, that's all I'm saying. All right. So um, check it out and tell a friend. Cool. All right, so I thought, um, 
I got some scriptures for you. And um, uh, it's Friday. Uh, I wanna, I wanna lead with love. <laughs> I tickle myself sometimes. And so you know, if you know me, then you know. Um, everybody goes through, through trials and tribulations, right? Ooh, I'm just bumping so. We all go through trials and tribulations. That's how, that's what it is. It is what it is. Amen. Yeah, that's that's, that's that tie. It is what it is, and so. <laughs> and so I, I'm always looking for scriptures to try and help me. I mean, how many of y'all do y'all have trouble sometimes in the moment, in the moment that you are experiencing something, you you don't always think of a scripture, and Jesus is kind of going, "Hello, is this thing on? Hello, hello." <laughs> It kind of like beating on your heart going, uh, I know you hear me. I know you hear me. Why are you playing? I know you hear me. La, 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 la. <laughs> you ever had Jesus just go, la, 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 la. Doom, 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 doom. Because <laughs> sometimes you're so upset at what's going on. You, you hear, you hear God knocking, but you're like, I just want to wallow just a little bit. And God's like, nah, shut up, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> I'm just tripping. I'm trying not to think too bad, too much about with the stuff I was going through. But at the same time, I had to remember, God has a scripture for every situation. He has a solution for everything that is going on. And so I'm looking over here at the book of Hebrews, chapter 6. Book of Hebrews, chapter 6, chapter six verse 10. It says, For God is not unrighteous. To forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. That ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. And so I was like, Jesus, I'm your girl. (laughs) I am her. I am he. I am the one. Yo, right here. And so now you like, you feel like you thumping on Jesus. Uh, Can you hear me? I know you hear me with your fine self. I know you hear me. I know. (laughs) Jesus is gorgeous. Anyway. I'm like, I know you hear me. And so he's like, yeah, I hear you. I'm the one that gave you the scripture. I want you to stop wallowing in all this pain that you're going through. And I want you to get the freak up and stand up. And so I'm like, all right, I can do that. I can do that. I can stand. Ooh, I can stand. And then you got to think about, okay, well, what do I know? What do I know? What do I know? And you're looking at the situation. What do you know about the situation? Okay, I know this, this, and this. I know this is true, this is true, this is true. Okay, okay. All right. Now, how am I going to get through this situation? Let's say, for example, your fr- your refrigerator is empty. <laughs> Let's say your refrigerator is empty, right? And you got $20. And you got to decide. You got to put food in the refrigerator, gas in the car, and you you need you hoping you can have some money in your pocket because you know you need some soap and whatnot. And you like man, food or soap, food or soap, shoot, food or soap, man. You get the to... hold on. I don't, say... <laughs> I don't smell that bad. Maybe I go get some. <laughs> and then suddenly you you watching the news and you hear food stamp recipients get a boost. President Biden heard the cries of Americans asking for relief. <laughs> now, the funny thing is, the faces on TV was black folks. You know, I lost my job. This freaking COVID is getting on my nerves. COVID, get the hell out my house. COVID, get the hell out my house. I'm so tired of you. Oh, my goodness. I ain't got no food in my house. My husband ain't working. This is this. And my kids getting on my nerves. I ain't know I had that many kids. COVID, get out my house. And Bonnie's like, yo, I got y'all. Guess what? Y'all get no raise. 
They like a raise. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, I've been faithful, been.